In today's video, I'm gonna talk about my top six neighborhoods to buy in Newport News in 2022, coming up. Hey, my name is Sam Sansalone and I'm a real estate agent in the Hampton Roads area. That goes from the south side of Hampton Roads all the way up through Williamsburg and I do videos every week about living and moving to the area. But today, we're talking about the top six neighborhoods that I think you should look into to buy or live in Newport News in 2022. I've told you so much about why I like Newport News and I think there are some specific neighborhoods and some spots in the city that I think are extremely either undervalued or just really great spots to live. Now, I'm gonna do some balancing between different styles of neighborhoods, different ages of the houses because people have different desires and preferences. And I think these types of neighborhoods kind of really bring to light a lot of the big potential benefits to being in Newport News. I know people sometimes don't like Newport News, some people talk bad about Newport News. There are reasons why people don't like it and I understand that and it's for other videos. I've talked about those things in other videos, but there are some great areas in here, some neighborhoods that I think that if I just plopped you in this spot, you might not even know where you were, which city you're in. I'm gonna share my screen with you to show you all those places on the map. So we're gonna first look at the city of Newport News. There's Newport News right here. It's a, it's a kind of a long, narrow stretch uh, on the peninsula of Hampton Roads. Now, uh, on the far western side, there are a lot of areas that I like a lot. And one of those, uh, as well, on this whole section here, just south of Christopher Newport University, is an area called uh, Warwick on the James and Museum Area, which is this whole section right about here. Some areas right off of Warwick Boulevard, which is right here, Warwick Boulevard. And going further west, you'll see all these little, little roads that come off of Warwick into these, this real quiet neighborhood that has lots of older houses in it. You can see here, I'll do some drive throughs so you can see it as well. And it's great because it has some older houses in here, like 50s and 60s, and some larger lots because sometimes in the price ranges of 300 to like five and 600, you don't always get the larger lot sizes that you're looking for. This area has that as well. Now, so the, the styles of houses are cool. A lot of older houses. These sizes of them are anywhere from like the 15 to 2,000 square foot up to upwards of like 3,000. You'll see some that are larger, especially as you get on the water, which we'll talk about in a second. But it's not a very big area, but it's also very close to main roads, so Warwick. Also, uh, Jefferson Avenue, which is just further east of there. You're pretty close to, to um, Interstate 64 and also Mercury Boulevard, which cuts across 258 that goes to the James River, River Bridge or towards Hampton going towards Langley. So you're about 20 minutes or so from Langley Air Force Base. Um, and you're also close to lots of shopping, so closer to City Center, close, uh, which is uh, in Newport News, closer to the airport, which is up just about 15, 20 minutes north. Whole Foods, you've got Trader Joe's up on Jefferson Avenue, so a lot of stuff that's relatively close by, but you're also tucked away off of the main road. So I like it because of the combination of, of relaxed, you know, kind of just set apart, tucked away feel, but also close to main roads and main access points. That being said, along the water, along River Road, for example, in near Museum Drive, along this area, you've got a lot of, a lot of really nice houses, a million dollars and up in a lot of these cases. I'll do the uh, satellite view so you can see what I'm talking about. See all these docks? These are all houses big houses, anywhere from a million, two million dollars, there's one listed right now, just under two million dollars. And you're also close to Nolan Trail, the Nolan Trail, which is a trail that runs all the way around the Mariner's Lake right here all the way through, all the way over. This is awesome because it's it's like 5.6 miles, I believe, going all the way across around the Mariner's Lake, which is near the Mariner's Museum. And also it's all forested, real quiet, real relaxed, and a big circle. So if you live uh, in uh, a muse museum area or um, Warwick on the James, you can get, there's access points on Museum Drive uh, on the Nolan Trail right here. That's the entrance right there. So you can come around, this is Museum Drive, and you can see the water, isn't it awesome? Drive right across from the neighborhood, and you've got water views on both sides. So next, we're gonna shift attention just further south of there into a neighborhood called Hilton, another area on the west side of Newport News. This one's extremely unique, and I'm gonna give you some details as to why. So I mentioned, I've said this before, it's kinda of like a Ghent light. If you've ever seen Ghent or know where Ghent is in Norfolk, there's an area that's like real old, mom and pop shops, restaurants, cool hustle and bustle. You can walk play from place to place. Real nice area in Norfolk. And the price ranges in there are anywhere from like, you know, two, 300,000 for condos, but upwards of five, six, eight, over a million dollars in some places in there. But Hilton is similar in that it has lots of older houses in there. I'll drop a pin so you can see what I'm talking about. 
real cool, real nice, like sidewalks in places. Some of these houses that were closer together and some of these spots even off of a couple of these roads are real, real close together in one-way streets. But you have real nice access to Warwick Boulevard, which has lots of mom and pop shops right in the Hilton Village area. So if you drop right in the middle uh, in Hilton on Warwick Boulevard, you'll see what I'm talking about. See these cool little shops? Like, not big, this is not big, but for like one strip, this kind of reminds me of parts of a Collie Avenue in Ghent. Uh, and so along those, you'll have like, storefronts like but looks like houses these these little storefront shops and if you come off the main road you'll see more of these older houses as well and you're like some dutch colonial style there's some tudor houses in here so if you come down here look at all the nice trees these older houses that are you know you can walk to the rest of hilton uh, but again a lot of these are real close together so it depends on what you're looking for some of these are twin homes they have two houses next to each other combined attached um, you know, houses, houses in the like 1,300 square foot range, upwards of 2,000 and up. Now the price ranges are anywhere from like the upper 100s, 200s into the 300s. You'll see some in the low $400,000 price ranges if you're looking for those larger houses that have a little bit more yard to them. Now the interesting thing about Hilton is also that they were built in a very specific time, between 19, about 18 and 1921. And they were built because Newport News Shipbuilding is further south, and this is during World War, World War I uh, time period when they needed housing for people that were gonna be building wartime ships uh, down just south. So they built this neighborhood. It was a federally funded uh, location. It was the first one in the country like it and built for this these uh, people that were working at sh the shipbuilding. So I like Hilton because it has the like, small town feel. It's very quaint. Those houses that are tucked away off the, off the road, just like we talked about in uh, Warwick on the James. There's also the Riverfront Park and Hilton Fishing Pier, which is just behind Hilton Elementary School. I think is also pretty cool too, behind all this, these spots. In Hilton. And it's also on the National Register of Historic Places. So the, and these are two neighborhoods that are just right next to each other, north and south, uh, on the western side of Newport News. And we're gonna stick to this side here in a minute, but we're gonna go further north, up to the top near an area called Shore Park, near Colony Road, off of Warwick Boulevard again, over here near Sanford. This whole section is more if you're looking for houses in like the upper twos, lower $300,000 price range, up to the low 400s uh, or so. This is more functional housing. This is not like, you know, your Hilton, unique, you know, older houses. This is not like Warwick and the James, uh, and museum area. This is, you know, houses that are more functional, three, four bedroom houses, 1,500 square feet, 2,200 square feet. There's some that are a little bit bigger than that, but for the price that you're getting in this whole section around Lucas Creek Road and, and uh, Colony Road near Warwick Boulevard, you're going to get a lot of nice house in real nice neighborhoods and, and, and uh, mature trees, the older neighborhood feel, but you have a nice functional, like real affordable price point. And you're also closer to Fort Eustis, which is just north about 15 or so minutes away on the the north side uh, of Newport News. And again, you're about 20, 25 minutes away going uh, east to the Langley Air Force Base over on this side. So about 25 minutes. These houses were built more like in the 50s and the 60s. So, you know, so like you got some ranches, you've got uh, two story, you got a mixture of both going all through this area and you know, different styles and feels of the neighbor neighborhood as you go into different parts of it. Now for this functional housing too, some people are also looking for school districts. This is the Denby High School District, uh, which is uh, one of the northernmost uh, uh, school districts in Hampton. Now if this video has given you any value at all, I would greatly appreciate it if you'd hit that like button for the YouTube algorithms. It actually does really, really help me a lot. It tells other people like you that would like my videos too, and it just spreads the word a lot. I greatly appreciate that. So now we're gonna shift our attention further uh, east. If you like newer houses, we're gonna go into an area called Kiln Creek, going into the more central and eastern section of Newport News, just south of the airport, is this big area called Kiln Creek. And I like Kiln Creek because it has, if you like newer houses and you don't like a lot of the parts in the western side of Newport News that I like a lot, you want to pivot to something newer and I like an area that has a more of a larger feel to it of newer things, newer areas, you'll like Kiln Creek because it has all of that and lots of other shops and restaurants in the area and neighborhood of Kiln Creek. And now, now there are different types of houses neighborhoods in here. There are, there's a mixture of smaller neighborhoods in the greater area of Kiln Creek. Now, they could be small condos, one, two bedrooms in the 100 like, price range, 150, 200, with condo fees in around like the two, three, four hundred dollars uh, or a month price range, uh, you know, in the lower price point. But if you go up to the two, the three, the four, the $500,000 price range, and up sometimes even closer up to the six plus range, you're gonna get more single family detached houses in the like the three, four, five bedroom range, you know, 
upper teens, upper like 17, 1800 square feet to like three, 4,000 square feet. But in general, most of them will be in the three to $500,000 ish price range. Now Kiln Creek surrounds the Kiln Creek Golf Club, which is right in the middle of Kiln Creek. I'm gonna show you right here so you can see. This is the HOA, which is right here next to the golf club and resort, all through the middle section of the neighborhood. And so got a big ring road, which is Kiln Creek Parkway. That kind of surrounds most of uh, Kiln Creek. And you have little neighborhoods that kind of spawn off of each side of it. And then you've got more uh, condo neighborhoods and some single family houses away from the Kiln Creek Golf Club, but off the main road of Brick Kiln, which then connects to Kiln Creek Parkway. So you got lots of random types of neighborhoods, lots of different random types of houses. And also one thing to note, Kiln Creek is in two different parts of town. You've got, it's in Newport News. Most of it is New, 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 Newport News, but the Northern and Northeastern section of it is actually in York County. So you have different school districts based on what part of Kiln Creek you're in. So if you want um, Grafton High School District, you can go to the, the further North and Northeastern section of the area uh, to get that school district. So make sure you check when you do your listings and you check to see if there's a house that you like, make sure you know which school district that that house is in. It might influence if you're, whether or not you want that house or not. Now, another thing to mention, you see it's right next to the Newport News Williamsburg International Airport. Now, it's not, this is not like the like Langley Air Force Base or specifically the Oceana Naval Air Station in terms of large noise, like you know, F-18s, lots of jets flying around. This is more of the traditional airport. It's not a very big airport, but there are, you'll hear planes flying overhead in some cases. And you'll hear also lots of traffic coming off of Interstate 64, especially if you're closer to the main road, if you're on near Kiln Creek Parkway or Brick Kiln, you might hear more of that white noise in the background. So as far as noise goes, it's not deafening like you might hear compared to other parts of other bases, but you're gonna hear some and you also hear more traffic along Interstate 64. So that's one drawback. However, you're very close to Jefferson Avenue. So once you get off of, you're in Kiln Creek, come out of there, uh, Brick Kiln Road right there. There's a Walmart right here and you've got plenty of shops, restaurants, Trader Joe's is right there. We've got the Home Depot, Sam's Club, a lot of your big box stores up and down uh, Jefferson Avenue. So if you want newer houses, like the three to $600,000 price range and you want something that you know is accessible to places very close to Langley, let's say 15, 20 minutes from Langley and sometimes into the Grafton High School, uh, York County School District uh, uh, demand kind of thing people like and you wanna be close to other access points main roads, I do think Cullen Creek is a great option for the variety that you get uh, in that neighborhood. Now we're going to shift our attention back to the west with another neighborhood I think is one of my favorites. There are a couple I think they're, they're underrated and we're going to go through them each right now. The first one is James Landing. I love James Landing because it is, first of all, I think it's forgotten because it's so far off of uh, Warwick Boulevard and off of Hyden Boulevard. But if you go down Hyden uh, from Warwick, Warwick to Hyden, then turn left into James Landing landing uh, the area back here, there's that there's a front sign. Where's the sign go? There it is. There's James Landing sign. So if you turn left there, these houses are built mostly in the 70s and the 80s, but if you come uh, into this, this neighborhood, it surrounds this, this lake called Lake Queen Anne. And you've got, as you go into the neighborhood, you've got lots of different varieties of styles of houses in here, and also some of the houses that are set apart. It's a very unique neighborhood, like nothing cookie cutter. Everything's different, and I love that about this neighborhood. If you drop a pin near the end, you'll also see that there's a big cul-de-sac around to the corner. Look at this, these are awesome views for these million dollar houses on the water. Like if you go right on the water there. But one thing I like about oh, wrong side, if you go around, around to the end of the, the corner of River, River's Edge Road, which is on the edge of James Landing, you have a, a walkway that takes you towards Madison Circle that then gets you to another uh, street that gets you to a different neighborhood. But that's a cool walking trail. Like it's a, it's a road, but it's cool because it just has a nice view of the lake on one side and also the James River on the other side. I love this little surprise feature of James Landing. These houses are gonna be anywhere from like the four to eight hundred thousand dollar price range but if you get into the water on the water a million dollars and up to start very easily um, now you're further away from playing things like you're further from Warwick Boulevard you're further from Jefferson Avenue you're further from uh, even Langley because it takes longer to get to uh, Warwick Boulevard
Boulevard and Main Roads to get to that other part of town. But if you don't mind that, if you like that, that quiet feel, you're behind Christopher Newport University, you've got access to the Ferguson Center for the Arts, which is right, like it's a nice performing arts center, I've been there many times. The, Mus the Mariners Museum, you're close to the James River Country Club, which is a golf course which is just south uh, east of here as well. And so you've also got the water, the water right there. A lot of cool things that you're right behind, but you're also kind of further away from stuff like, for example, like the uh, different uh, bases. Another benefit to being uh, in James Landing is that it's in the Minchville High School District, which uh, in terms of rankings in Newport News, you'll see that it's, it's often ranked a little bit higher uh, in that school, uh, in the uh, city uh, for uh, high schools. So then you keep noticing that I love the western side of Newport News, and I think you would too. Uh, once you see what's here, the, my favorite new neighborhood in Newport News is Riverside. This is Riverside and it's bookended between part of uh, James, uh, James Landing and also on the south side near the Warwick on the James and Museum area spot I was talking about before. It's right behind the Mariners Museum, near the Nolan Trail, all the things we talked about before, but also it's got what I think is the cool surprise of all this is a private beach access off of Riverside Drive that I don't think people realize or no notice when they get into the neighborhood. It's an Awesome little corner thing off of the main, off of one of the neighborhood roads. Now, another thing about this neighborhood is that it has a lot of like mid-century modern houses in here, which it's hard to find the higher concentration of those types of houses in other parts of Hampton Roads. It's not that it, every one is, but each each house again is unique, and you might find some unique uh, uh, types of houses in here. And the, the the streets are sometimes narrow, sometimes wide. You'll find some very unique houses, like more ranch style, two story. You know, these house prices too are also pretty affordable relative to what you're getting. You're getting them sometimes in the $300,000 price range, upwards of four and five, and again, you can go higher, six and seven and up, based on what type of house you're getting, especially if you're getting close to the water, on the water, in these big houses. Some of these 5,000 and up square foot houses are getting into the million and a half and on over range, especially right along, like we, like we talked about earlier on Warwick on the James, well, there's more piers, more big houses along Riverside Drive. I love this part of the neighborhood, and you can also get close access to the museum park Parkway. And the museum parkway, parkway is cool because you can drive from here all the way across into the Mariners Museum section of town, real wooded, real nice, near the Nolan Trail. And if you go right to the museum drive, that, that road right there on the bridge, it's back to that spot where there's water access on or water views on both sides. See, there's plenty of people riding their bikes, hanging out. I, I've been driving back here before and you'll see weddings happen on the, on the lawn here, on the water. Great place for, for that kind of thing. Great place for gatherings. I love this part of town. It has bike paths. It's just very friendly for people that want that outdoor access. And I think that for that, all the things you get in Riverside, you also get a civic league that is very strong in the, in the neighborhood. It's what's called the Riverside Community Civic Association, which is a great uh, an added benefit to this neighborhood. And you also have that cool access point to the beach that again, no one really knows because it also does not have an HOA fee. So you're not paying the HOA fee, you get the private access beach uh, spot. I think for the price, what you're getting, if you're in Newport News, this is one of my favorite favorite neighborhoods as long as you like older houses because again these are older these are in the 50s and the 60s I love that but not everybody does and so based on what type of house you're looking for this might not be the type of neighborhood for you now if you have any questions about relocating to Newport News or the rest of Hampton Roads I do videos like this all the time so you feel free to reach out to me at any point ask questions I've got my contact information in the description I'll do whatever I can to help you relocate to this area and I'll see you on the next video